Hey guys, this is Iborg 709 coming at you with Maze Halo Legendary Loot Crate unboxing here. Open this guy up real quick. So let's go ahead and I guess get into the paperwork first. So every month, or every two months, these come out. They have some top secret Oni paperwork here. Check it out and see what's in here. So it looks like some official Oni documents for Or from Commander Palmer to, I'm not sure who. Oh no, to Commander Pal Palmer from Apollo team. About the Covenant, or one of the main Covenant installations it looks like. And then we have a very nice kind of picture poster here of one of the rings and a Covenant, Covenant outpost there. Very nice. So, we've got our uh, Halo icons. I like this one. It's uh, Arbiter here. And he looks like he's jumping on top of what looks like a, um, a uh, elite guard helmet down here. He's jumping over it with his sword. I like that one a lot. Let's go ahead and open it up, actually. Check him out. So yeah, that's the uh, the helmet that's on the ground there is the elite um, guard helmet. So in Halo 2, when Arbiter is being disgraced, um, you see quite a few of the high elite guards with their very fancy armor and big helmets and whatnot. Pull him out here. Use the excessive plastic crunching. A couple of rocks here. All right, so I like this arbiter a lot here. So it's him from the front, and he's got his mouth open, like he's yelling, and then he's got the sword here, which is really nice. It's like a nice clear blue plastic and then I really like the detail along his armor here so this is the again the Halo 2 version of the Arbiter's armor it has kind of changed through the games a little bit not too terribly much but it's a nice detail that they would add in specifically that version of it because the uh, Spartans and whatnot leading up to this one have been very um, Halo 2-esque so let's see Hmm. How does he go on? Am I missing a part? Oh, I'm not. There we go. Missing a part. Okay, so. This kind of goes up inside there. And he's supposed to be jumping from. This rock back here, it looks like. Some assembly is obviously required on these guys. I have to say on these, as much as I like the detail, the, uh, the quality of construction and the way they go together, not always the best. That's him fully constructed there for ya. Let's see if we can get him a little closer and focus there. Boom. Is that the side? Around. Boom. It's 
like I said, I really like the detail. I think this is probably the most detailed of the figures that have come out so far. I mean, all the detail on his back here and his arm and the shoulder plate up here is really nice. Right there. Along with the spine and uh, neck armor across his top here. I really like that a lot. Um, I'm a very detail-oriented person in general, especially when it comes to Halo. So let's continue on with what we got here. So we got our Halo shirt here. And it says, uh, The Great Schism, Brutes versus Elites. Again, referencing Halo 2, Halo 3 era, where the um, Brutes started rebelling against the Covenant and the um, the main religion line that the Covenant have set up, and especially the, um, the uh, Elders and all that good stuff. And the Elders send the Elites to go kill all the Brutes. So, referencing that in there, I like the, uh, the highlighted colors, it's kind of nice. I wish the base color was black, but I really like the, um, all the highlights on here. And they even have the planets down here, which I know I'm going to completely destroy the brute planet, but it's Jarharul Hane, I think. And then Sangheili, I know, is the Covenant planet, but it's pretty cool. I like that a lot. Boom. And then, next thing that draws my attention, I'm already loving here. Let's see if I can pop it out of the bag real quick. It is a marine hat there with the UNSC symbol on the front. Let's see if I can throw it on. Boom. Right there. I like that a lot, personally. Mm. Yeah, let me just wear that for a few Let's see. The next guy here in the little box. It looks like that's probably St. Healy on the front there. I'm not 100% sure. Pretty heavy, whatever it is. It's a uh, gravity hammer magnetic bottle opener. So on the back there, it's got a little magnet to stick to your fridge. And then it's obviously a bottle opener on the front there. That's clever. I like that. Very nice. Okay, right there. All right. And then we got the pin here. So the little mini poster here has a elite, looks like, yes, yeah, the Arbiter fighting a brute there on the front. And then it's got your DLC codes on the back for in-game content. And then, last but not least, is our pin, which of course it says the Great Schism on it, and it has like a fist there. Yeah, power. Oh. I feel like a marine with this on. I really do. Oh. I like this hat. But that's the pin there. And then forgot about the box art. I always forget about the box art. Let's see here. So the box art is one of the uh, prophets. I think it's the prophet of regret. It's probably the prophet of regret. Um, because Halo 2's uh, theme, or the theme of the crate is the Great Schism, which is mostly Halo 2, which is the Prophet of Regret is who you beat the crap out of in the end of the game. So I would assume it's meant to be the Prophet of Regret right there. It's not bad. I kind of wish you didn't have to unfold the box to get the proper perspective on it, because the way they... Uh, do the art, it kind of goes into the fold of the box and into the bottom. It would be nice if you could kind of just plop the box up and the art would like continue here so it had like a good uh, perspective on it because you kind of lose it there unless you unfold the box and then it just looks kind of like an unfolded box with art on it. It's kind of funky looking. But 
in general, I like it a lot. And I personally keep all the boxes anyways, because they're cool boxes. But that is the end of the unboxing. Let me know what you guys think about uh, this uh, legendary loot crate, and I will catch you guys next time.